Hello everybody and welcome to The Social Paper Crafter, the free and online paper crafts magazine. I'm Sam from Mixed Up Craft and I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely origami gift pouch in five minutes. Yes, that's right. I'm going to prove to you that you can make wonderful quick projects in no time at all. This is using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and with just some simple folding you can create lovely little um, projects and uh, these are perfect for an array of occasions so I hope you enjoy it and let's get straight into the tutorial. So I'm using a piece of 12 by 12 um, card here and this is by Wonderlust by First Edition. You just want to fold it in half on the diagonal so you get nice joins. One of the key pieces um, of doing origami is making sure that all of your corners and stuff measure and meet up. Then grab one of your side, you want to bring this across so it's in line with half of the distance here in the centre of this complete, complete side. So roughly about there. And then you just want to lie that one down, like so. I'm just going to grab my bone tool there just to help me make sure I get really nice crease lines. Then bring the other one across so it lines up with the other side. And again, use your bone tool to really make sure you get that all in place. Then with this top piece here, so you'll have two pieces. With this piece in front and this piece you've just folded over, you've got a pocket there. You want to pop that inside that pocket. So pop it in like so and just make sure that you slide it right in so they're all joined nice and snug like so. And again, with your bone tool, just go along like so. Okay, so that is the pouch now done. So you can open that up and you can put any treats with whatever it is that you want. Now I'm going to make my sentiment. So I've got my sentiment I'm using is by My Favourite Things. And I've got the You Are Fantastic um, stamps there. So I'm just going to, with a corresponding pink here that matches really nicely, I'm just going to ink up. I'm using the Tim Holtz stamping platform here. Just get a really nice impression. And the beauty about it is, is if you don't get it the first time, you can then stamp over. And I need to put a bit more pressure in the middle there. Like so. A little bit on that zero there. It's not zero on the um, O. It's not wanting to... Uh... There we go. So you get a really lovely impression there. And then I'm going to bring in, let me just get rid of that ink there because I don't want to have any accidents. I'm going to bring in my Big Shot and I've got a piece of matching navy here. And I've got two oval dies, one slightly bigger. So the bigger one, I'm going to die cut this here. And then with the smaller one down from that, I am going to die cut the pink. All the measurements of the dies that I use will be found in um, the Social Paper Craft magazine. So don't worry, you can write all those down before. So that is that one there. And then I'm going to grab this one. Ooh, grab my other die that I do have here. Get that nice and centred, like so. And again, I'm turning my plate upside down because some of that print has come off and I don't want it to stamp on my, obviously you would have a little bit more time. Oops, there goes one on the floor. You'll have a little bit more time to make, you know, allow that to dry. Now that is going to go on top like so. You see, you got a really nice piece there. So I've got some, just some foam here. I'm just going to pop a couple on there. And I'm also going to pop a couple on the back of here. Like so. And then just remove these ones. And pop that nicely in the middle. And again, take off these, 
grab this one, pop it in the middle there, and then with this one here, I'm going to just cut a small piece of foam and just attach it to the back. Whenever you're using fabric, the foam little squares work really well, and that one is going to go there. And then I can pop just a couple of little embellishments just along the top and I think I'm doing well for my time there so there we go so I'm just going to pop one more there I might have gone a couple of seconds over but I think you will still get the idea there of what you can create in a very short amount of time so there we have two really lovely little um, origami gift pockets. So as I mentioned, you can make these in any size as long as you've got square paper. So six by six, eight by eight, five by five, 12 by 12, 10 by 10, any size you want, you can make these. And as I mentioned before, they make fantastic favors and just really nice little, you know, gifts for just giving a gift. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I um, hope you're enjoying our first edition of the Social Paper Per After and tune in to see more later. Thank you, bye.